Ihr Lieben, ich spreche gleich mit Grace aus Nicaragua und äh, will mal wissen, wie die Sache dort so ist mit der Corona-Krise. Wobei sie so weit abwohnt vom Schuss, weiß ich gar nicht, ob sie da tatsächlich so viel mitbekommt. Aber was super interessant ist, ist, sie ist Expertin fürs Immunsystem und vielleicht kann sie da uns ja was zu sagen, wie man das jetzt pusht, damit der Virus einen gar nicht erst attackieren kann. Viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ihr Lieben, ich blicke jetzt nach Nicaragua und äh, bei mir ist die liebe Grace, eigentlich originally aus Toronto, Kanada, aber jetzt in Nicaragua gestrandet. Liebe Grace, hi, how are you doing? I am good, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you for taking your time. Um, Corona crisis hit every country, even the states the, the you know the united states in the middle middle countries like nicaragua how is it there at the moment you know actually nicaragua is the only country in central america that did not close its borders uh, which is very interesting um, and actually the president's getting a lot of flack for that but we don't have any cases reported right now uh, i think we i th I don't follow the news personally. I'm finding it very depressing and, um, you know, I find, uh, I, I feel it's best for my mental health to not follow the, the news that much. But the last time I checked, um, there was only one case reported here. Um, I live in Northern Nicaragua, so I'm not very touristy where I am at. Um, I live in nature and really for me, my life isn't, doesn't seem any different. I wouldn't know what's going on in the world. The only thing that's different for me is that I run a business here and my business obviously has no people because nobody's coming here. But besides that, um, I wouldn't really know anything is going on because all I have around me are beaches and nature and, and animals. So I, I'm not, I don't live around a lot of people anyways. <laughs> that sounds great. Let's have a look how it looks at your place and, and how you live. So this is my place in Northern Nicaragua. It is my home as well as my business. I run a um, boutique home wellness retreat center where people come for healthy vacations and to transform their lives. And normally I will have anywhere from seven to 14 people here. And now, of course, because of the coronavirus, there is nobody here. I'm used to this being um, very busy and people running around and lots of yoga classes and fitness classes and uh, we have nutrition classes, cooking classes and now uh, we've had no guests here since March. This is our yoga fitness rancho and where we have our community meals. Very, very quiet here. Just me and the birds as you can hear. Um, I'm just going to take you for a little tour here. There's our guest cottage. And then over here, um, we have my father's house. I actually took my father out of an old age home in Toronto three years ago, who has Alzheimer's and I thought I could take better care of him here. Um, and that's his home over there where he lives with his nurse. So I'm not completely alone. I've got two staff members here and that's my house way in the back. I feel very blessed that I am here in beautiful nature during this quarantine time. Uh, that looks really, really nice. Are you close to a beach? Because otherwise it's got to be really hot there. Yeah, it's super hot. I'm, I'm actually near four beaches, so I can walk to one of them and the rest is less than a 10 minute drive. And I feel really blessed. There's nobody on the beaches here. Um, there's still surfers here, um, but one of the beaches that's close to me is really has no people on it and um, I'm able to go there every day and go for a swim. That's cool. You're running a wellness center there. Um, yes. We saw the little buildings you have there and stuff. It's really nice. And I guess there's no one there at the moment, is it? Or is some people are coming? Yes. I, um, this year is one of my busiest years ever i've been open for three and a half years and i was i've been sold out week after week since the fall and now because of this nobody's here of course i haven't had any guests here since march 
Um, I'm used to having seven to 14 more people here for meal times, for yoga classes, fitness classes. This place is always hustling and bustling. There's never a dull moment here. And now it's super quiet. You know, it's just me and my staff here right now. How do you cope? Because that means uh, you're not earning any money, is it? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm, try, I'm the kind of person who always tries to look at everything in a positive light and what are the gifts presented in that moment. For me, it's the opportunity for self-care. I think, um, you know, I really feel grateful that I have this opportunity right now to focus on um, things that make me feel better, my self-care, my sleep, my own personal fitness, my own meditations, working on my online business. I think this is a great opportunity for the whole world to do that. I mean, we're literally being forced to do it. So <laughs> yeah. I think of it as like my own private retreat right now and doing all those things that I've always said I wanted to do in the last few years that I haven't had time to do. And now is my opportunity. And um, it's a great time to really reflect on your own life who you are, what you're happy with, what you're not happy with, how can you be a better person? Uh, when this is over, how can I um, achieve more of my goals? What do I need to do to put steps in place? So it's a great time of reflection and that's how I'm looking at it. That is a great time of looking at it. I think it's, it's super duper because I mean, that is what you can do now really to look what's inside you, what wants to come out or which way you want to turn to. Maybe you had an unhappy life working I don't know what and you didn't like it and now is maybe the time to look at things what you want to do but don't you have to pay rent don't you have to pay water or um food or something like that i mean that costs money or not so this is uh when i'm so busy here with guests i don't my online business i write a lot of articles you know i write books um i i do programs like online programs all of that suffers for me when i have guests here because i'm just so busy here and now is a great opportunity like i think a lot of wellness people are focusing on their online platforms now and um writing more and i'm working with private clients one-on-one -on -one more so it's kind of forcing me to look at um other money streams coming in and um you know, I think for a lot of us in the wellness industry too, a lot of us have shied away from doing our videos or doing this online work and it's all forcing us to put ourselves out there. And that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. um, you said you don't follow that much the, the news, but um, Daniel Otega had disappeared for a month and all of a sudden shows up and said, coronavirus doesn't really exist or it's heaven sent. What do you think about that? Um, I, I have my theories as, you know, I think that, um, I think that most of the world is, we're in a place right now that we're really sick. Um, our immune systems are really compromised. Our immune systems aren't working on all cylinders. I know this as a holistic nutritionist because my business is thriving. The people who come to me are sick. Uh, or on some level, whether it's just on a small scale level, like weight loss or hormonal issues, or on a bigger scale, like cancer, diabetes, fibromyalgia, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, these are people coming to me and my, my business has been thriving over the last 10 years because people are getting sicker and sicker. And um, I feel like this, people are not handling this virus physically as well because we are sicker. Our, our immune systems aren't strong enough. Um, uh, do I agree with Daniel Ortega? I mean, it's hard. Uh, I'm still in the processing zone, um, but there have been no cases here. Is it because we're in the heat or we're in nature or is it because they're lying as they're accused of saying that, that um, it's really hard to say. So, um, yeah, that's how but, I feel. But, about do, but do you know any test centers somewhere out there? I mean, there's no test centers. Here. So no. if there is no test centers, then nobody gets tested, I suppose. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so there is no evidence that someone is having the coronavirus. There's also no increase in deaths here. So. Hmm. Um, you're, you're right. He's accused to, to lie to his people and to the other world and um, he's not really following any regulations the World Health Organization is promoting. Um, do, you, do you think that's the right thing to do? Is it maybe 
right that everybody gets sick or immune against it and then it's fine or is it better to stick to some health uh, regulation? There are certain things that are happening right now that um, I don't necessarily agree with. However, I do think that, um, I mean, he has disappeared and he hasn't been a voice for the country. Um, I do feel like the, the, there's a big percentage of expats that live here and, and people are abiding by the rules. So um, there's a lot of businesses here. I mean, most businesses I think have shut down, especially in my area, there's no businesses open. I think most places in the South and the touristy areas have shut down. Expats are social distancing. Uh, most people, you know, we're teaching the Nicaraguans more about cleanliness and washing their hands and, and um, staying at home and, um, uh, I think people are coming to their own decisions and trying to do the smart things. Is he a good leader? I mean, no. <laughs> but um, I mean, I think also people here are used to that. He hasn't proven himself to be a good leader here over his time here. And I mean, they are trying to um, get him to step down, which is a whole other topic. But, um, you know, I think people are used to not really following um, or expecting much out of him. Let's say mm. that. How is it in Nicaragua with the news? I mean, in Germany, we have sort of like one, two, three news channels that are spreading the news all over our country. I know that in the United States, they have several. Some has to be paid for, some are for free. So people get not really all the information they should have. How is it in Nicaragua? Do they get any information? Or is it just the expats, as you said? Or... There's, there's news channels, um, for sure. Um, yeah, there, I, I mean, I don't watch them personally, but, um, there are news channels that, um, you know, like there's Spanish type of CNN and stuff like that, that does promote all that. Yeah. So they can stick to the regulation they hear on the telly to know what is going on and not rely on their president. Yeah. Did you see any other effect of the coronavirus in, in your business? You said it shut down other businesses are shut down, but schools are still open. And what I read about, and um, he's now encouraging people to go to mass events, you know, where people gather together. Um, is that really happening? And do you know why he's doing it? Um, sorry, the last part, you said people are encouraged to go to the mass events, like the parades. Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. The I mean, I think that happened a few, um, I was in Europe actually in March, just before this all happened. Um, and I believe just before I came back, there was a big March about all this, which was silly. Um, I haven't, I live really rural, Northern Nicaragua. There's been nothing like that here. As far as I know, nothing's been happening in Managua, the capital city. Um, like I said, I don't watch the news. However, on my Facebook feeds, I can see if there's something big that happens. So it's not like I'm totally in the dark. I mean, I, if anything major is happening, I like um, gets reported to me or I see it on Facebook. Um, um, but I think right now everyone's pretty on board, even here in the north, about like staying away from each other and social distancing and all that. Are the normal all daily supplies are there like food, toilet paper, or <laughs> what have you? Is that all still possible to get? Yep. Um, I live um, an hour away, 45 minutes away from the main city where we can go grocery shopping. I mean, I grow a lot of my own food here. There's little market stalls here in the village. I live in a village. Um, but I went there last week and because uh, I had to get some supplies and it's still, I mean, people are wearing masks, which I thought was very good. Um, uh, there's, you can still guess if there's plenty of toilet paper, <laughs> but yeah, there is there. He in Germany, they got crazy about toilet paper. I don't know why it was really mad. And, and, and I think it was like concept. in Toronto too, like ever in, in California, like I have friends all over the world and everyone was going crazy over the toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I mean, in some countries, they don't even use it. They use water. So actually, we should be yeah. safe. <laughs> so are you afraid of Corona or, or how long it's going to be? Is that frightening you that no guests are coming? Um, no, I'm not. I, I feel very good about how I'm handling my business right now. Um, I choose to really try to live my life without fear. 
Um, I, um, it is what it's going to be. I do feel like things will shift in a while. So, um, but if not, I do have a plan A, B and C in order. Mm -hmm. Um, um, so yeah, I, 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 I trust that whatever is going to evolve is the way it's going to evolve. And like I said, it forces me to uh, work on my books. I've been wanting to write books and work with my online clients and develop virtual retreats. I'm going to do a next week, a one day retreat. And then I want to do like a seven day online retreat. So um, these are all things I wanted to do before anyway, on my list of things to do. I thought I would accomplish in the next year or two. And now I'm just being forced to do it now. So yeah. So actually, do you think you're lucky because you live in the middle of nowhere, like in the woods, and so Corona cannot really attack you? No, I'm not worried. I don't, um, I have a strong immune system. I think those of us who really take care of ourselves and understand the immune system, I mean, I study the immune system. And, um, if your body's functioning at all cylinders and is working strongly, the virus cannot live there. And um, I'm honestly, I'm sure I was exposed to it on my travels. I was in Europe, I was in America before coming here and um, these types of things. I, I'm doing everything. I live my life in a way that supports my body and I know I take care of my body well. And um, even for those people out there that aren't nutritionists or don't, um, what I'm trying to teach my clients right now is everything that you do today is going to help you. And living in fear is going to be worse than the actual virus. And that's my philosophy. Um, if you're living, if you're staying hydrated and you're eating well and you're staying away from the things that are acidic and are going to depress your immune system, you're going to struggle more for sure. So if we, this is a great opportunity for us to embrace our health and embrace the wisdom of our bodies and, um, you know, everybody wants to get healthier and always says, I want to get healthier. I want to get healthier and doesn't. And now's the time to do it. <laughs> now they can really concentrate on it. Is there, um, could you give us like three real tips, like do this, do that and that, and your immune system will be better. Number one, I think most people are very dehydrated and the virus will thrive in a body that's dehydrated. So it's drinking water and not just drinking water, but looking at like, what am I drinking? That's actually dehydrating me. So cutting down on the coffee or stick to only the coffee in the morning or you know take this opportunity to try and quit coffee cutting down on the alcohol for sure you know i think a lot of us are stuck at home and um, a lot of people are and over drinking you know and these are things that are going to make you severely dehydrated and weaken your immune system so upping your water and looking at what is dehydrating you eating your vegetables this is a great time to start eating more colorful veggies that are going to boost your vitamins and minerals in the body and help boost your immune system Trying not to stay attached to fear. I highly recommend to people that they don't overwatch the news. You know, if, if you feel like you must watch it, watch it once a day and that's it. But um, I feel like people should cut down on their media consumption because it is, it's all about fear for sure. And of course, it's going to trigger a fear response in the body, which lowers your immunity. And um, moving move the body so important that's going to help keep your immune system strong and your lymphatic system strong which supports the immune system whether it's doing a minute of jumping jacks or going outside and going for a walk or doing your own yoga practice or skipping doing anything uh, where you can move the body is really going to help keep your immune system strong thank you so much grace i thank you so much for this interview for these tips um, I think I could do two that I haven't done so far. <laughs> Moving my body, I guess that's a good thing to do. Um, yeah. so, you know what, even if it's for five minutes, because I think a lot of people think like, oh, okay, um, I got to do this hour workout or 30 minutes. No, just five minutes every day will serve you more than doing 30 minutes once a week. Ah, good to know. I think I'm going to get out my hula hoop ring and then do a bit of... That is easy to do, and after five minutes, I'll probably be naked. <laughs> so thank you so much, and um, stay healthy, but I guess you will, what you told me. And um, yeah, all the best to you, down to Nicaragua. Thank you. Bye-bye. Und wenn es euch gefallen habt, ihr Lieben, dann natürlich auf jeden Fall einen Daumen hoch und unseren YouTube-Kanal abonnieren. Bye-bye. Was sagen eigentlich meine Gäste von Buddha bei die Fische, der Terfeen Talk, der besten Talkshow der Welt zur Corona-Krise? Was für Tipps haben sie und wie bewältigen sie selber ihren Alltag?
Guckt auf meinen YouTube-Kanal von Buddha bei die Fische, der Terfen Talk. Da gibt es mehr. Und nicht vergessen zu abonnieren.